hi all today we talk about the query optimization in query optimization there are more than 15 ways uh, we'll discuss in a today's session what are the 15 ways so first is indexing index is the, is the most important tool uh, because uh, it gets used while inserting a record and while selecting a record okay if there are more indexes on a database that more indexes that resultant insert gets slow but if you put uh, if you put less uh, less uh, indexes then your select gets slow so you need to very wisely decide uh, which indexes it is required and uh, is it required necessary so how you determine that indexes is required or not so first you put pull all the select queries okay pull all the select queries into excel then uh, filter out the select columns then where columns then group by columns and having column okay group by and having column combine all together and check what are the column is is present into select where group by and having club together and check for that column index is present or not if index is the present then well and good if index is not there then add the missing indexes but if you find out okay these three columns are required but uh, we have unnecessary indexes on database so that may result and slow the insert operation so please remove which is unused index from the database so that's the way to fasten our query okay apart from next thing is the select query like uh, in a select multiple times you see that multiple people pull the data by using select star why select star is not performance efficient over the select because in a select star we are pulling unnecessary data so suppose there are 100k rows and we, we are pulling the 10 columns okay so 10 columns so if you are pulling this much data that is a very very huge data and if you put that together into memory that more than a 10 mb and perform the operation over the 10 mb data that cost over the cpu and memory also huge so if in, in this 10 column only one or two column required that get reduce the data okay data by 80 percent means only the 8 mb data is there suppose if you can pull the 100 kb 100 uh, 100 thousand data with the only two column which is required so data size is the 2 2 mb okay so running the query or running the uh, performing the operation over 10 mb it's always lower than perform the operation over the 2 db that's why always choose the column whichever required in a select form okay next performance uh, performance optimization thing is the uh, uh, run the query individually okay so suppose if you are performing uh, like uh, multiple queries inside loop by like select i am doing something on a sub data in this data i am adding another select okay in, in a select there is a somewhere clause in a where clause in clause i am pulling from another table select so looping the query from query to query to query that resultant into slower the operation so try to identify individually query means run that query individually pull the result and parse that result and push into next query that may your query get faster okay so run individual queries not the looping the queries into one to another that is also one way apart from that matching the record okay there are multiple things like if you want to match then you can use in or or exist okay so if you are doing in or exist in that case in your whole table gets scanned but in exist if you found that row we are directly exiting the query execution and returning the result that's why exit give better performance uh, over the in clause uh, for this uh, with the detailed explanation we have another video you can check it out okay so uh, use exists over the other other options okay apart from that sub queries okay in a sub queries uh, like uh, it impact the performance earlier also we discussed that in loop clause or the multiple queries if you are hitting queries inside queries queries inside queries that hit the performance so try to reduce the sub queries otherwise if you want then use the joins because sub queries uh, take a more time because so, suppose sub queries if you are doing first select and then inside there are some where clause and you are doing in clause and this is and again then select okay here you are reading the 100 percent data of this and whatever data you are getting you you are parsing that data but in case of a joins you are you are directly joining on the primary key and a where clause is there so based upon a where clause only those data get matched and a query run on those only data okay that's why you instead of a sub queries means try to avoid the sub queries apart from white card okay uh, why why wild card is uh, important uh, because where you are putting the percentage that's more important because if you put x or uh, if you want to find out the x category and if you put a percentage here so starting from x all the data gets scanned okay but if you put instead of a here's percentage like like command we are using wild card but if you want to find out the name which have ram in between okay in between ram then you are putting percentage ram and then percentage in that case what happened we are doing the scan of a whole the table each and every row gets scanned and indexing is not applied because you are putting percentage here but if you put start with the ram and a percentage in that case you are ram column is indexed suppose name column is already indexed then we are going through the index and index get applied so this query run faster over the this this 
get slower and this get faster because you are doing the wild card in the both the places start and end the end the place okay so try to avoid the wild card or use wild card uh, means whenever proper reason is required then only use the wild card okay next is a operator okay so uh, we we know that or and then in not in all these are operator so if, if while using this operator uh, means uh, if uh, we are doing that uh, kind of thing now and in now date we are doing the date function okay what what this function get written this suppose today's date is uh, 1st january for january 23 okay and uh, 1 pm okay 1 1 pm is the time but if you pass that data into now now time is this but if you push into date you will you just get written 1 1 23 okay so uh, if you are doing this function at at a 100k suppose you have the 100k records and you are doing the matching over the data so this function get executed 100k times okay so is it required to use is it required to execute this function 100k times no because we know that what is the result so simply pull this data result and push it into query directly not execute this kind of function multiple times okay so think wisely because if you are doing this kind of function like date now is equal to uh, create timestamp or update timestamp then you are matching with the update timestamp but this function get executed per row level okay so that also slower your query that's why uh, while using the functions think wisely and then use functions in, in your query okay fetching the data okay uh, next optimum thing is uh, okay in your database we already discussed that 100k is your in a database but uh, you are loading the data on a on a ui and at the time user can see only 10 rows okay so why we why we are pulling 100k data okay that's not required only 10 if you are using only 10 then user at least only fetch the 10 row which should get used okay so th that way we can we can avoid the load to pull all the 100k data from the database what happened at a database suppose this is your ui okay ui access ui get called to the your api layer api layer call your database pull all the data and show to the user if you are doing a 100k call that means all the pressure put into database then pressure transfer to the api because all the 100k data put it into in memory process it and then send it to ui so last burden all also on a ui so we are putting burden on every stage instead of putting burden onto our system we can only use the limit and offset and using that only 10 rows get uh, selected when user click on the next button then we are we will load from 10 to 20 data if we click again uh, next button then we will click 20 to 30 data that way we are we are setting to offset and only loading 10 10 rows from the database so our system work very smoother way okay uh, that uh, that's why fetching data is also important factor next is the loading data okay so uh, earlier also I, I, I said that use the temporary table because uh, temporary table are created for the particular session and that get dropped when session is closed so using the temporary table you can uh, remove the load on a particular table or while performing a join you can simply create a temporary table for out of multiple means if three table are involved into query create a temporary table out of that query pull that data and whenever session get closed that uh, that the temporary table get vanished so you achieve multiple things firstly uh, you are not preparing a table which need to maintain a long run uh, that automatically get pruned and it's required only for the session so whatever you are doing work that is a temporary work and that haven't persist into the down the stream tables okay that's why uh, this is an important part thing uh, apart from selecting the rows we, we we see their first part is the put limit and offset to select only those rows we we see that only 0 to 10 we can select the rows then 10 to 20 20 to 30 this way we can select the data apart from that uh, suppose if you want to show the data uh, where city is pune or country is india so instead of pulling all the data from the database you and filter at application level instead of doing that you can directly put the where clause in at a database level so you you are not pulling the data from the database and parsing into your application code you directly get the data which you were required to show on a ui so that's why uh, the where and having clause we can use to, to minimize the data so in memory performance or in memory operation also get faster apart from that execution plan okay once once you are okay next is the execution plan execution plans means once we write the query or the write the join query or any query firstly you your first work should be the is there index is there and that index get applied on not so how you check that whatever you query return uh, the index is there and if index is there uh, is that index is getting pulled by the sql engine or not so using a explain command you can write the explain and your query and hit that in the uh, eligible index you will get to know which index is applied and how many row travels by uh, that index okay uh, that way explain uh, we can we can do the explain plan and use to the optimize the query next thing is the input output stats okay uh, the input output stats means our, our device data is uh, mysql is on application mysql also application and the data is stored on a hard drive that is a physical device and the mysql is the program okay so we need to tune both the uh, mysql 
as well as the database both the tuning is required so we should check both the end with the stats mysql provide lot of tools around that we can check the cpu ram uh, the the stats of that how we are writing the data all the stuffs need to check apart from that uh, the cache and memory capacity issues also we need to tackle because if you have hhd that that perform very very slow means compare if you compare with the ssd so that also we need to tune that on which perform, how much performance we require based upon that we can choose the devices where we should store the data in the mysql there are multiple io caches and buffer caches so uh, while performance query tuning if you are done with the query tuning then we need to check the buffer buffer cache size and tune that okay the latency also there like uh, my database is a uh, present in a uh, uh, asia singapore okay my database is in a singapore hosted and my application is hosted on a uk okay so the network latency already there if you are posting the uh, database in singapore ideally you should host the application itself in a singapore otherwise if your application is a uk store the database in a uk so the network latency get reduced over the it okay apart from that memory optimization table so reading and writing uh, in a in a same table after the few few months uh, the data get uh, multiple data get added updated deleted so in that case blank space created in between so you need to optimize that table means defragment that table so that way also you can tune your queries tune your database and tune your sql instance okay yeah that's it for today's session uh, there are 15 point we talk let me know if you want to more uh, details about each point okay yeah thanks all bye